What's up guys, my name's Brandon and happy iPhone 12 launch day. So today we're gonna be taking a look at the brand new iPhone 12 Pro in both the gold and the new Pacific Blue colorway. Now the gold is also a little bit new, a little bit different this year as well, which we'll take a look at here in a moment. But as you can see, the packaging is a lot smaller this year all around. And we do also have black boxes for the pros versus a white box for the regular iPhone 12. So of course, the smaller packaging allows Apple to ship 70% more iPhones per pallet, which is huge, not just for them, but also for us because it allows customers, you know, to get their iPhones faster. You don't have to wait as long. So definitely a big win for Apple by reducing the packaging size but of course that does come with a caveat that means that we do not get a power adapter or ear pods inside of the packaging so anyways let's go ahead and get into these we're going to start off with the new pacific blue color as you can see we do have a little blue accent on the box you can tell it is the pacific blue we do also have the matching wallpapers that are different for each color so we have gold over here blue right here and it just says iphone on the side as you can see right there so i did get this in the 128 gigabyte just because i will be using the pro max most likely as my daily driver but anyways as you can see we do have the peel tab down there at the bottom for a very easy unboxing process here let's go ahead and take the top off and man this box is so tiny so anyways there is the iPhone 12 Pro. And man, I just love that frosted back look. It just looks so clean. I love the look of that. And this color is just amazing. It doesn't quite match my Apple Watch Series 6, which I was kind of hoping for before they announced the iPhone 12s, but it's close enough, I guess. I do like this color a little bit better, the more navy color. This is more of just, I don't know, I guess Pacific Blue is a very fitting color because it's not quite a deep blue, like a navy blue. And as you can see here, we do have something a little bit different. So the front screen protector basically just shows like power and it shows, you know, what these are over here. So you can see on the left-hand side, it shows the mute switch and then the volume up, volume down. And then on the bottom, it shows that's for the charging port, I guess, in case you've never used an iPhone before. But let's go ahead and take that off. And there we go. This is the iPhone 12 Pro. Man, this thing in the hand feels great. I love these flat, these squared off edges versus the rounded edges. So I really like the feel of this in the hand. It feels excellent in the hand. And of course we do have that stainless steel band right here, that stainless steel frame right there. And then also for those of you wondering what this is, this is the 5G antenna band. So this is just an antenna band here on the right hand side. A lot of people were wondering what that was when we first saw the iPhone 12s announced and people saw pictures of that. That is actually just a band for 5G. But anyways, you can see the side here. Once again, the frame is just a very nice, a very shiny stainless steel. And of course it will be kind of a fingerprint magnet, and that's, of course, it's good that it's not on the back because we have that frosted look on the back. So you're not going to really see any fingerprints there and it feels great. But of course, these sides, you will definitely notice some fingerprints, but it doesn't take away from how great it looks. I think the look of it, you know, beats out having fingerprints. Like I don't mind getting fingerprints on it because it looks so good. And then we do have the SIM card tray down here at the bottom left. So let's go ahead and take a look at what else is inside of the box. So we do have our USB-C to lightning cable right here, which once again, we do not get a charging block in the box. So you will have to either buy one or just use one that you already have. I have a few around the house, so it's not a big deal for me. But as you can see there, we have the USB-C to lightning. And then we have some paperwork right here. We have our SIM eject tool one piece of paperwork, and then one Apple sticker. So very minimal with the packaging this year, which is great. Again, not just for Apple, but also for us, and of course for the environment as well. So that's all you get in the box. Very simple this year. And once again, I did get the 128 gigabyte variant, which is the base model. So this starts at 999, then it goes up to 1099 for a 256 gigabyte, and then 1299 for 512 gigabytes. So 128 gigabytes is definitely not bad for a base model. I think that's what all of them should start at, but of course the regular iPhone 12 starts at 64 gigabytes. So anyways, you can also see the LiDAR scanner there on the camera. That is the new big feature on the cameras. Of course, the cameras overall are going to be better, but you can see that LiDAR scanner right there. But anyways, let me go ahead and unbox the gold because I know a lot of people also want to see this new gold colorway. It's not new, gold is not new, but the gold does look different this year. And I think it looks a lot better. And I think a lot of people are going to love the way this looks. So let's go ahead and take this off and take a look at what the gold looks like for the iPhone 12 Pro. Very easy to take off. And man, that's actually really light. That's lighter than I thought it would be on the back. So there's a lot of differences here and it actually feels a little bit different, maybe. I don't know, I did hear one of the Apple store employees tell me that this does have a different coating on the back. The gold has a different coating on the back than any other color. So not sure if that's true or not. I didn't hear that anywhere else, but I did hear that there in the Apple store. But anyways, you can see the back there, it's a very light shade of gold, but take a look at that frame. 
Let's take a look at that. It looks like 24 karat gold. It looks super, super cool, very fancy. And I don't even know if this is gonna translate well on the camera, but man, this thing looks excellent on that frame. Now, it's a good thing this isn't all the way on the back because that would be the biggest fingerprint magnet of all time. But you can see there, it does look good. Let's go and take the screen off. And of course, this does feel just like the blue in the hand. Of course, they are the same phone, but man, that gold, you can see the difference there on the frames. That gold just looks so, so nice. And just for a little comparison, here's the iPhone XS Max. You can kind of see how the shades are a little bit different there. Of course, it is a lot lighter, like I mentioned on the 12 Pro, but take a look at the frame. You can see the frame is a lot more of like an actual gold color, whereas before it was more of like a bronze color with the iPhone XS Max and the iPhone 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max as well. So it's more of a pure gold and more of like a, like I said, it really looks like 24 karat gold, which would be nice if it actually was, but Apple did not mention that. So I'm sure it's not actually 24 carats, but it looks excellent. It looks very, very unique, very, very fancy. So anyways, inside the box, of course, we get the exact same things, USB-C to lightning, and then our Apple sticker, our solo Apple sticker with our paperwork. But let's go ahead and boot both of these guys on up. And I do also wanna compare these to the iPhone 11 Pro as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that 11 Pro over here as these boot up. So this is the iPhone 11 Pro here on the right, of course, the iPhone 12 Pro on the left. And you can see that the 12 Pro is a little bit bigger than the 11 Pro, and also the camera array is a little bit larger as well. So if I put these side by side, you can probably see a very slight difference in the camera array. The camera setup is slightly bigger. Of course, you do have that LiDAR scanner down there now compared to where we just had like a microphone slot right there. Apple did move the microphone slot to the right of the LiDAR scanner there on the 12. And just the sensors are bigger this year as well. On the right hand side, you can see, of course, we do have that new design, that more squared off design and the home button looks to be the same exact size. Of course, it is a little bit more into the body. It seems like it doesn't look like it protrudes as much as it did last year with the iPhone 11 Pro. And then of course, we have the 5G antenna band right there, whereas before on the 11 Pro, we had the SIM card slot right there, whereas now the SIM card slot got moved over to the left-hand side on the bottom. So then on the left-hand side, you can see everything's exactly the same, except for it looks like also the buttons over here, the volume buttons over here are a little bit different as well. They seem to be more in the body and protrude a little bit less they're a little less curvy as well than they were on the 11 Pro. And we do also have slightly smaller bezels on the iPhone 12 Pro this year. You may be able to tell through the video, it's really hard to tell even in real life just looking at these, but you can see a smaller bezel on the iPhone 12 Pro versus the iPhone 11 Pro here from last year. But of course we do have the same sized display. So it's a 6.1 inch OLED display on both. This year, Apple is calling the OLED the Super Retina XDR OLED display. So it might be slightly better this year versus the 11 Pro, but I doubt it's probably gonna end up looking exactly the same as the 11 Pro because they are both OLED panels with the same max brightness and everything. We go ahead and switch these around, but of course a big difference this year is also going to be the fact that we have the A14 Bionic chip versus the A13 chip. So of course every year we have a big difference in performance and that's no different this year. However, the battery life could be slightly worse with the iPhone 12 Pro this year because it's the same battery or maybe a little bit smaller, but we have 5G and we have a lot of extra features as well that could use more battery life. But of course the A14 Bionic chip will be more efficient with that battery life. So I will have to run a battery test, a battery drain test to see which one gets better battery life. So if you guys wanna see that, make sure to subscribe because that video is coming. So let's go ahead and speed through this setup process. Now, if you guys do want to see a full setup process where I transfer my data over from my old phone to my new phone, that video is coming later today as well. And by the time you're watching this, it may be out. So check the cards and the description if you wanna see a full walkthrough of transferring data over from your old phone to your new iPhone 12 Pro. And just typing on this display makes me wish that we did have that 120 hertz refresh rate, but of course we do not have that this year. That is most likely coming next year with the iPhone 13. So you can see here it says it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone and this screen actually looks a little bit different. So at the bottom, it looks like we have something new there. Not sure if that's just for the 12 and 12 Pro or if that's just new in iOS 14, but you can see there we do have this screen right here. So it's activating our iPhone. Of course, we don't need to have our SIM card in yet. I don't have a SIM card in here. It just activates via your Apple ID. So we have our data and privacy screen right here. Face ID, I'm just gonna go ahead and set that up real quick, see if there's anything new here. Doesn't look like there will be. So we do have the same Face ID sensor. However, the A14 Bionic chip could lead to better Face ID, more accurate Face ID and faster. I will have to test that in my speed test, which is also coming up. So let's go ahead and do just zeros for our passcode right now. 
so we can get on with this setup and just take a look at the home screen and maybe some of the new wallpapers here for the iPhone 12 as well. So we're gonna go ahead and don't transfer apps and we're just gonna do this later. We're gonna go ahead and enable iMessage and FaceTime. We'll set up Siri later. Screen time, we'll go ahead and enable that. We're not gonna share analytics. We have True Tone. We have our light and dark mode right there. And here we go. Now we are on the screen. So I'm actually surprised that we have this wallpaper. I guess actually the new wallpapers did not come out until iOS 14.2, which is currently in beta right now, but it should be out soon. So if we go to wallpaper, choose new wallpaper, stills, or actually it's live. So there are the new wallpapers for the iPhone 12. They do come on the iPhone 12. This is the same one that you see on the box. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this as both on my iPhone 12 Pro and Gold. And you can see there, looks really cool. Definitely goes with the theme of this gold colorway, which looks excellent. Again, it looks super fancy. I just love this. I mean, it will be a fingerprint magnet, no doubt, but it is just on the frame. So it should not be too big of an issue for most people, especially if you rock a case, which that kind of takes away from this because this is the best part uh, and the case will cover that. But you can see it's also on the camera. So the edge of the cameras, as you can see right there, as they protrude out, you can see that gold accent right there which looks awesome and of course that wallpaper looks awesome as well but i'm gonna go ahead and pop out the sim card tray and put in my sim card to see if we can get any 5g speeds and see if i can maybe do a little mini speed test with 5g let's go to our settings here and check out if we have any settings for 5g let's go to cellular right here and it looks like let's go to our cellular data options and voice and data you can see there it says 5g auto so it now says 5G auto, or you could just turn 5G on. So it can switch between 5G and LTE if you wanted to. That's probably the best scenario, the best setting to have on for most people. And then data mode right here, you can see it says allow more data on 5G and then also low data mode. And as you can see, I only have LTE right now, but I am gonna go ahead and run a speed test just to see, oh, okay, it did switch to 5G there. So let's go ahead and see if the speeds are any better than I normally get. And I can already tell that they are, the speeds are a little bit better than I normally get over LTE. Nothing too crazy. Of course, 5G, it's, the tower is probably very far away. So I'm not you know, super close to it. But you can see I am on 5G right here and doing the speed test. The download was better than it normally is, but the upload is about what it always is and maybe slightly better just because I really never got great speeds on LTE. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this and try it again since LTE or 5G came on like in the middle of that speed test. I can actually do it on speedtest.net right here. Let's go ahead and click on go. Let's see what our speeds are here with 5G enabled from the beginning. It's connecting to Orlando. I'm currently in Jacksonville and we should probably see about the same speeds and so actually it's a little bit higher here so because we do have 5g on the whole time looks like we're going to get about 70 ish on the download 75 okay so it's actually increasing more and more which is nice to see so about an 80 download which is nice and it only did the download i guess we didn't get an upload there for whatever reason but 5g speeds definitely do seem faster than lte for me i was definitely not getting 80 down with lte so definitely looks like 5g is going to be a nice improvement this year and of course that is a reason for a lot of people to go ahead and upgrade this year but anyways if i had to share my thoughts on which color i think is better I personally like the gold better, and I did not think I would be saying that. I loved the thought of getting the blue. It was a new color. I thought it would match my watch. It doesn't necessarily you know, completely match my watch. I do like it a lot, but the gold, man, that frame just looks excellent. That, that gold just looks awesome to me. Now, the blue is definitely a lot more versatile, and I understand the gold's not for everybody, but me personally, I actually think that I like the gold better. I mean, the Pacific blue is awesome. Don't get me wrong. These are by far the two best colors, in my opinion. But I really like the gold. That frame just really sets it off for me. But of course, the blue, like I said, it's going to be more versatile. And I think more people are going to gravitate to the blue. But that's just my opinion. So anyways, let me know which one you guys like better down in the comments below. Do you like the gold or do you like the new Pacific blue in the iPhone 12 Pro? Let me know with a comment down below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys also subscribe. I do have some iPhone 12 unboxings coming as well. I did get a few iPhone 12s and I'm gonna be taking a look at the different colors there and telling you guys which one I think looks the best. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.